Nine new amazing and strange science discoveries. Number nine, a planet where it literally snows sunscreen. In the crazy race to find aliens, we've discovered tons of new exoplanets. That's planets outside of our solar system, which may or may not be able to support alien life. One of them though, seems to at least support proper summertime health. The so-called Kepler 13 AB circles very close to its local sun, the Kepler 13 A. This is one of the hottest known planets ever, with daytime temperatures reaching up to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. However, it's the dark side of this planet that's weird. Kepler 13 AB has insanely powerful gravity and it pulls down a substance called titanium dioxide in the form of snow. This is called a cold trap, and what makes this even more interesting is that titanium dioxide is the active ingredient of sunscreen. Basically, this is the stuff that protects your skin from harmful rays over the summer months. And it's snowing shovels of this on another planet. Number 8. Flowers sending light beacons to bees. The ring around this daisy might look blue colored, but it's actually a dark mirror. The latest research from the University of Cambridge discovered that flowers pull an incredible trick on bees. For years, biologists had been finding weird irregularities in the petals of basically every common flower species. Looking really closely, as in nanostructure level closely, scientists kept finding that the individual petals in their surface were completely different from the rest of the flower. Confused, they named this the disorder phenomena, and after straining to figure out some kind of reason for it, decided that the substance on these petals was just some kind of erroneous byproduct flowers messed up during their evolution. However, the brains over at Cambridge figured out that flowers actually do this on purpose. They make these strange dark rings around their petals which mess up any light that hits them. The light is refracted, making the rings look dark blue and then they reflect this signal. This blaring blue light signal hits bees, which happen to love blue hues, helping them to find the flowers more effectively. Scientists have named this light ring the blue halo, and they suppose that plants evolved this ability because so many of them lack the ability to create blue pigments on their own. And that's just one of the nice tricks that plants play on insects. In our video, 12 terrifying plants that actually exist, we discovered that some plants like the Portuguese sundew also play tricks to lure insects in, but then they never let them out. Number seven, sugar water is actually poo water. There was a huge outrage at aspartame recently when it was revealed that this artificial sweetener, which is shoved into basically every processed food ever, actually comes from the feces of a certain modified bacterium. The notorious Escherichia coli, or as you may know it, E. coli. Well folks, it just got even grosser. Researchers from the University of Waterloo conducted some examinations on rural groundwater wells in the Notawasaga River watershed, and it now looks like our own feces adds sugar to our water. They discovered that the domestic well water was contaminated by the wastewater from septic systems in the area. It contains as many as four different kinds of artificial sweeteners, which can't be processed by either our bodies or by the wastewater treatment process. In addition to this icky spice, the wastewater often carries the E. coli bacteria, various viruses, remnants of pharmaceuticals and cosmetic products, and insane levels of ammonium. That would be the stuff that gives a horrid smell to public bathrooms. Then all this leaks back into our rivers and gets drawn into our home water supplies again. Talk about bad pipeline planning. Number six, a three-eyed beetle was grown in a lab. In just the last month, researchers at Indiana University have intentionally grown a fully functional extra eye right in the middle of a common beetle's forehead. The research was made to figure out the biological mechanisms that rely on pre-existing genetic material to develop new complex traits, or to replicate old ones in weird new places. What's really weird though is that this experiment was basically repeating an accident. 
Sometime earlier, in a different project, they were trying to figure out how the insect's head develops. And along the way, they made a blunder that caused a new eye to sprout out of nowhere. Unlike the old accidental eye though, the new one they made works without a hitch. According to all the piles of tests that they ran on this beetle, the team was thrilled by their discovery because the process of making this new eye was actually a very simple one. They believe that this ability to grow complex structures with simple genetics will greatly help medical research when it comes to organ transplantation problems and replacing damaged or missing limbs. What do you think about genetic modifications like this one? Are they a good thing if they can eventually help regrow limbs? Or should we just not be messing with it at all and let nature take its course? Leave your comment below and we might feature it in one of our future videos. Number 5. A seductive flower with a taste for trickery. This little flower tends to show different, romantic preferences than most. Meet the Aspidistra illetior flower, which ignores the bees and the butterflies, and instead relies on gnats to take care of its pollination needs. Yuck! It lives all around the world, but it's native to Kuroshima, a southern Japanese island, and makes a point of imitating local mushrooms. These are actually very popular houseplants because they're very resilient and have pretty purple flowers. However, they keep their fleshy flowers half buried and blossom right above the ground, burrowed in leaf residue, and they emit a musky sort of odor that isn't really flowery at all. These eccentricities make them incredibly similar to mushrooms. So the fungus gnats get confused and regularly fly right into the center of the plant. This way, they transfer the pollen between individual flowers and allows them to bear fruit. It's a pretty clever strategy actually, except that this mushroom mimicry also attracts hordes of slugs who love to chew on the plant's leaves. Like they say, beauty is painful. Number four. Modified eggs might help win the cancer fight. Most medicine tastes horrible in one way or another. Sour, bitter, gritty, gross. So what if instead it was prepackaged and neatly camouflaged into your breakfast? Researchers at the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology in Japan came up with a very strange idea. Chicken doctors. They use genetic engineering to produce hens which are capable of laying a special kind of egg. These eggs contain a certain protein which is essentially cancer medicine. As of July of this year, there are three hens that successfully lay these magic eggs every other day or so and the team is looking to build a larger, more stable coop. The protein in question can be found in medicines such as Avonex and is mostly used to treat multiple sclerosis. However, recent studies suggest that this medicine also might have a future in cancer therapy, specifically in dealing with skin cancer and hepatitis. Number 3. Turkey poop could become the new coal. A new study suggests that turkeys might have a much more useful place in our lives than landing on our Thanksgiving plates. They might help provide us with an eco-friendly fuel. Right now, about 73% of renewable energy worldwide comes from biomass. But the way of producing the crops for it is still a heavy burden on our ecosystem. Alongside that, we're also having more and more trouble disposing of poultry excrement in an environmentally safe way. So naturally, somebody came up with the idea of solving one of these problems with the other. Researchers came together and found a way of processing excrement from turkeys, chickens, and other poultry, which results in the creation of a biofuel very similar to coal. They ran some tests and found that this new fuel produces more raw energy than the biomass we currently use. And moreover, the levels of greenhouse gas emission from it are significantly lower than current fossil fuels. They're hoping to replace about 10% of the coal used in electricity generation with poultry feces, for starters, and to run more tests on a larger scale to get a better grip on its possible benefits. Number 2. Snail seduction is a human thing too. There was a recent discovery in Japan that turned our snail classification systems up on their heads and brought along some human puzzles too. 
most land snails have shells that coil to the right, with some very rare individuals coiling to the left. These are called mirror image snails, and were once considered to be a distinct species. What that means is that the so-called lefty snails have their genitals on the opposite side of, and this is where things get a little bit gross, their faces. Yep, snails mate face to face. So by obvious logic, lefties and righties shouldn't be able to mate, but now it looks like they can. A study led by the University of Nottingham found that differently coiled types of Japanese land snails are able to twist their genitals around in order to adapt to their chosen partners. Sounds pretty painful, right? But this has huge medical implications. You see, mirror image genes exist in many animals, including in humans. This peculiar snail discovery could help us understand why internal organs are placed according to a fixed pattern, why it sometimes goes wrong, and how that influences the genetic life of our own species. Hopefully, none of this research will involve twisting our privates, though. Number 1. Living in Lava or the new houses on our moon. This here is the Marius Hills skylight, a big hole in the moon which might soon become the first human moon base. Basically, it's an open lava tube. These are formed when lava develops a hard crust which thickens and forms a roof above the still flowing lava stream. Once the lava stops flowing, the tunnel sometimes drains, forming a hollow void. It's the safest shelter for astronauts because spacesuits alone aren't enough protection against the moon's insanely harsh conditions. Vice President Mike Pence recently announced at the meeting of the National Space Council that America's space focus will be redirected from Mars to the moon to hopefully soon build humanity's first human foothold outside of our home planet. If you thought that these were cool, you won't believe some of the much stranger creatures discovered in our video. 17 strange animals with two heads. And don't forget to hit subscribe and be notified every time we release new videos three times a week. Two-headed dolphin. When the Fukushima disaster in Japan made news worldwide, there were many who feared that the nuclear catastrophe would cause mutations in the surrounding marine life. Hmm. In 2014, a two-headed whale in California called into question the effect that the Fukushima disaster could have had on this animal, with many believing that the water contamination caused the...